Nakakan is a convention focused on Japanese pop art and culture. You know, some cool stuff like anime, manga, game, fashion, music, cosplay, just to name a few. This year it'll be held in Overland Park, Kansas during Memorial Day weekend, May 26th through 28th. Takuya J. Inoue. I'm a director for Nakakan. Um, the area I help mainly is uh, finance, the budget side, and taking care of our Japanese guests of honors. Um, a lot of convention has maybe anime as part of their track, but it's part of a bigger, broad schedule. So sometimes I feel it gets washed away, whereas here we really do make an effort to put a focus on Japan and share all the cool artwork and also kind of educate to the attendees on you know, what's behind some of their favorite um, entertainment mediums, you could say. I actually have been involved with the very first Nakakon. It was actually a student activity of the KU Anime Club. Um, it's, we started small. In a couple years, once the core member of the Anime Club graduated, um, we decided to start a nonprofit to continue this convention and slowly, gradually grew from a couple hundred to a thousand to several thousand and now, you know, close to even 10,000. And we just continue to move on to find bigger spaces. And right now, our home is here in the Overland Park Convention Center. Starting the top floor of the convention center, we have an entire exhibit hall dedicated to vendors, artists, and exhibitors from all around the world, even from Canada internationally. Right here where we're talking, here's our main stage where our main Japanese guest and honors will do musical performance. We got a idol singer this year, a DJ, a rapper, so a good variety of mixtures. Um, then of course some of our bigger events like um, cosplay contest, idol fest. Downstairs, we have a whole floor dedicated to Japanese gaming. We bring arcade cabinets from Japan. We got all the home console games you could think of back in your dad's day and now current. And then tabletop gaming is another popular. Now across the, over at the Sheridan, we also take over the entire Sheridan hotel meeting rooms. And those are mainly uh, panels, workshops, some other cool events we have there is a maid cafe for people to enjoy a nice afternoon with treats and drinks. Um, we also have a screening room. Of course, we start as a, from an anime club, so we have to show anime, right? Then we have our guest of honors from here in the US, like voice actresses and voice actors to do panel presentation and Q&A. So NACACON is a year long effort. It's a nonprofit organization it's run all by volunteers. So we literally have to do this during our free time. We all have jobs or family like myself. I have kids. Once I get the kids into the bed, finally I could do some NACACON work. So really we had to just take a whole year to plan for this. As far as physically setting up this convention right here, right now, we actually even start here Wednesday, hauling all our inventories, organizing it. Thursday, we finally get things set up, all through even Friday. And then finally in Friday afternoon, we're able to open the doors. We usually have uh, several hundred volunteers helping us out. It is a long effort, for sure, a year long effort. I think it's a famous story. Um, we were the unlucky ones when that pandemic hit, we actually closed the day of. <laughs> it was a big damage all across, uh, both financially and just um, our staffing power too. And we really had to rebuild from the bottom up. So 21, we had to cap it to 3,000. Last year was 6,000. And now, even before we open the door, it's at 6,000. So maybe we'll reach seven or 8,000 this year. So same with staff numbers. Everybody starts finally getting back to the normal life routine and we're able to increase our volunteer pool too. So hopefully we'll get back to our 300 numbers here in the next few years. Hi, my name is Eleanor Carlson. Um, I'm cosplaying as Sophie Hatter from Howl's Moving Castle, and this is Turnip Head. So I, I guess I pick my cosplays mainly based off of obviously if I enjoy the character, but I also enjoy uh, characters that make just people happy, that people like love seeing me as. Um, so it's like both of those two factors are kind of like why I pick my costumes. Um, I've, lo I've loved Studio Ghibli movies since I was a really little kid. I was super excited to be her, but then I was like, man, I can't just be Sophie. Like I gotta, I gotta go all the way. So 
uh, yeah, I went and endeavored to create Turnip Head, and uh, he's now been with me for about seven years and has been to all sorts of different competitions and different anime conventions, uh, other Comic Cons, and all sorts of things. So it's been a, it's been a great time being Sophie, and uh, yeah. Some of the, my favorite feedback from attendees and volunteer staff is just that the attendees say it's a community that's welcoming, a community that feels like a family, a community that allows them to be themselves. Because of the hobby nerdy fandom, you know, sometimes they feel like they may not fit in, I guess, in the general public. But here, you know, they could let it all out, you know, and not be afraid. Like, yeah, I like anime, just like the rest of us here. I'm Finn. I'm cosplaying Rainbow Dash. And my favorite thing about cosplay is probably just the fact that I get to like be just someone like else, but I don't have to be a certain someone else, you know? It's like the versatility, I guess. My name is Holly. I am cosplaying as Overhaul from My Hero Academia. My favorite thing about Naka would just have to be the type of community that's here. I never see it at different cons. People are always so easy to express themselves. There's always a variety of cosplays. It's super colorful. Everybody's really kind, and that's probably what I like the most about Naka. So I was thinking, you know, in the future, just continue to build on what we've started here. Welcome back old faces, of course, but if we're able to bring back, you know, new faces, that's what I hope to do. And then continue to bring, you know, people from Japan too. There's no better comment, you know, we could receive saying, you know, I want to come back. Um, not just from guest of honors, but attendees and all around. What we say is, you know, just um, don't be afraid to enjoy what you enjoy most, but also try to see if you don't know all of the stuff we offer, come check it out. Even just. Um, See if you could discover stuff and learn something new because that's you know one of our core mission is to try to share all these uh, pop culture and also teach you about it. If you guys aren't able to make it this year, our convention is also a Memorial Day weekend next year, so make sure you mark it on your calendar. Definitely come check us out and see what's cool and fun about Japanese pop culture. And we're here at the Olympic Park Convention Center during Memorial Day weekend.